Welcome back. We are here on ETO looking at the foreign exchange market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for April 1st, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at ETO where you can follow our trades and even copy our trades. The link is down below. So it's now been looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did fall, we've been did rally up towards uh, 93.45 and then we also broke down all the way down to 92.97 and now we're settled at 93.19 so we are getting fairly overstretched here it was expected for this to pull back um, it, and uh, we actually did and then we also bounced again but we're still we are most likely going to retest the 200 moving average before we go significantly higher from here 20 exponential moving average is moving in the direction of the 20, 200 moving average and we will most likely have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average in the next few trading days. Technical indicators, they are felt, they are either bullish at this current stage or flat. So it is expected for this to pull back before going higher. If we manage, for example, to break below the 200 moving average and the 20, then we have the 50 underneath here at 91.21. So it looks like we have basically changed basically direction in the US dollar index. So the US dollar is appreciating and that, of course, will have a major implications for the other currency pairs that we are going to discuss. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we did a rally uh, a little bit today and they we're heading towards the 20 exponential. But still, we are have a crossing here of the 20 and the 50. We're trading underneath the 50 and the 20. And when we get close to the 20, this could actually uh, reject the, um, the basically this rally and then we'll basically just to fall further to the downside. So if we get rejected here, then we will most likely fall back towards uh, 1366 technical indicators they are either flat or they are bearish at this current stage macd is bearish the C stochastic is flat the cci is bearish at this current stage and the rsi is flat so if we get rally if we get rejected of the 20 exponential here they will most likely fall back towards these previous lows if that breaks then we'll go even further from that if we break about the 50 and the 20 exponential then we could go towards the top of the Bollinger Band, which also is the previous highs here of give or take a 14.00. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. So we had a massive movement here. We basically to the upside. So this is rallying way past the top of the Bollinger Band. And at this point, it is fairly expected for this to pull back at least to 110 and probably all the way down to, to 109.14. Technical indicators for this are, well, either looking flat or very bearish at this current stage. But we're getting significantly overstretched and we're also getting significantly overbought. So a pullback at this point is expected before going higher. This has been an absolutely massive rally. However, we have seen these massive rallies before also here. So when this takes off, it usually really takes off. But at this current stage, we are getting, we're way outside of the bullish band and it is um, a signal that this may pull back towards the middle and 109.17 will most likely be one of those targets. Break below here, that opens to the bottom of the bullish band are roughly 107.74. So let's look at the euro, US dollar. So euro, US dollar, we have hit the bottom here, give or take uh, 11.70 is where we basically landed. And now it looks like we are basically just trading sideways and probably are going to head towards the 20 exponential before going lower. We have a crossing here of the 20 and the 200 moving average and we'll most likely also have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average which is what we call a golden crossing we see basically right over here and usually when we see those uh, crossings we have major movement either to the upside or we'll have it towards the downside so pay attention to the 50 moving average and the 
200 moving average crossing that could really send this uh, currency pair significantly lower. Technical indicators at this current stage are bearish, but they are turning around. So MACD is bearish, the stochastic is crossing the signal and becoming bullish. CCI is still in negative territory and is bearish, but it's turning around. And the RSI is flat at this current stage. So rally up towards the 20 exponential that will most likely be sold into. We can look at, for example, at the Fibonacci retracement for this for the long Fibonacci retracement. And the reason why we basically stopped here is basically this is the first Fibonacci retracement at the 38.2. If this breaks, then we'll head towards the 50, around 11, 51, 5, and then all the way down to 61.8, and that's 11.29. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. So Aussie dollar, US dollar also found uh, support down here at 0 0.7566 and has been just been trading sideways since. Rallies up towards the 20 exponential will most likely be sold into at this current, current stage. If you manage to break above that, then you have the 20, uh, 50 moving average here at 0 0.7717. Technical indicators are either flat or bearish at this current stage. And yes, we are slowly grinding towards uh, 0 0.75 or the 200 moving average, which is at 0 0.7319 at this current stage. If we manage to break above 50 moving average, we'll most, li most, most likely find resistance here at 0 0.7829. Yes, so let's go and look at the US Canadian dollar. So US Canadian dollar, we have yet again just seen more of the same rallies up towards the 50 moving average and then breakdown. So we have done this uh, numerous times in the past. We have seen it both in the 20 exponential and we've seen it the 50 here and now we're seeing it yet again. Technical indicators for this, um, this uh, currency pair are turning around at this current stage. Sarcastic is causing the signal line, the CCI is becoming bearish, the RSI is becoming bearish, and the MACD is also uh, basically flat at this point and is basically turning around at the same time. So, pay attention also to the to the, um, to oil prices as they are also, uh, there's a negative correlation between uh, its current spare as well. So, so um, it's not just the US dollar index, also oil prices that have an effect on this um, currency pair, but we just see a continu continuation of the same thing. If we manage to break above the 50 moving average, then we'll most likely run into resistance here at 1269, uh, which is the top of the Bollinger Band. Uh, but at the moment, 50 moving average is holding. And if we break below the uh, 20 exponential, uh, the middle of the Bollinger Band here, we'll most likely send this currency pair down towards 1248. So, yes. So, I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at Ethereum. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.